Okay guys, in this video I will show on how to remove the ball joint on this uh, golf without removing the tire. That's what the new ball joint looks like. You just got three bolts on the bottom that you can uh, bolt to the control arm and then the nut that goes to the knuckle. We're going to change it on the passenger side without removing the tire. And then the tools that we are going to use I'm going to use a torque wrench later for tightening the stuff down. I'm going to use a ratchet, a 3 8 ratchet, a 60 millimeter socket, a 30 millimeter socket, the, an extension later to use on the impact to speed things up with a swivel, the 90 millimeter wrench for the nut on top of the ball joint stud that connects the ball joint to the knuckle. I'm going to use a hammer to loosen the ball joint stud from the, from the knuckle. And then I'm also going to use this pry bar to wherever I need some leverage to help me out. Also, with all my tools right here, um, the ball joint, it is not interchangeable from the right side to the left side. There's a different ball joint per side. And then it does come with uh, these, this uh, nut. They are all connected, so you don't have to hold the nuts while you bolt in the bolts from the bottom. And it also comes with some washers. So first, we're going to lift up the car. So the reason why we are replacing the ball joint is because it is worn. It has some play. If you just grab the bottom of the wheel on both sides, the inside and outside, if you just move it back and forth, I hope you can see it on the camera, but there is some play in the lower ball joint. Now, as you can see, this is our old ball joint that is still in the vehicle. Up here, we have the nut that holds a ball joint to the knuckle. It's a 90 millimeter wrench that we are going to use on there. And then right here, it's 30 millimeter bolts that we're going to have to take off. That connects a ball joint to the control arm. And then we also have to take off the stabilizer bar link so we can pry this control arm down and get the ball joint out of the knuckle. When I undo suspension parts, bolts or nuts, I usually like to put a little bit of penetrating oil and I'm using this liquid wrench stuff. It works pretty good for me. So I'm just going to spray some up there on that bolt. And then on these three little ones right here for the bolts that connect the ball joint to the control arm, I'm going to spray them down as well. And then that will make them come off a little bit better. So we are going to start with a with that 90 millimeter bolt that we got up there on the ball joint to the knuckle with our 90 millimeter wrench. And then we're just going to take it off. Just loosen it up with a wrench. A little bit of tight place or space. So here we are getting to the end. You should probably just put the nut as up high as you can. So the nut will be very easy to turn. That when you do loosen the stud, the ball joint stud from the knuckle, that the stud won't turn with the nut. So the nut is all the way off right now, or as far as off as I can. We got our hammer right here, ready to hit it. So I'm gonna hit right here on the knuckle and hopefully separate the ball joint from the knuckle. Let's see what, how it works. I have to take the pry bar and pry it down a little bit to see if it's loose. Here I got my pry bar. I'll just try to put it somewhere loose yet. No, it's not broken loose yet. So I'm going to keep hammering at it and see what it does. So you probably saw it come loose. So now I'm going to continue having to take that nut off of there. Just let me get my wrench here. Okay, there's a nut, got it off. Now I can't really pull this down because I still got this sway bar link holding the control bar up because this is connected with the driver's side sway bar link right here. And if I pull the passenger side 
control arm down, the driver's side control arm wants to come down as well, but that one is still connected. So it will be hard to, really hard to pull it down. So therefore, we are gonna take this, this bolt off and then we can just move this control arm individually. So I'm just gonna take my uh, 60 millimeter socket, put it on my 3H ratchet, put it on off, it's good. And just break this guy loose. There we go. Let's make it a little bit quicker. I'll put it on my impact and just uh, take it off of the impact. Got my impact ready. So much easier, isn't it? So. Now we got that out of the way. We should be able to just, it's pretty simple, I could just pull it down. Okay, now before I'm gonna continue, we will um, take these three bolts off. Now for that, I'm gonna use a 30 millimeter socket on my 3 inch ratchet again. Make sure it's off. And then same with here, I'm just gonna break them loose. And then just use the impact to take them off to speed things up a little bit. It's okay, now I'm going to put this off my impact and off we go. Oh yeah, this is also where I'm going to use my extension with the swivel on my impact. So this is so we'll do this one first. Next one. Put it aside. The last one. Okay, so now I got all these bolts loose. So this come out. And then we also have this guy right here that would hold the uh, hold the bolts on top right here. So now this ball joint should just slide out of here. Um, probably won't just you can't probably just take it with your hand. You're gonna have to use some help. Maybe in the sense of the hammer. And there you have it. That's how you remove your old ball joint that has play in it. You probably won't ever feel it if you have the ball joint in the hand that it has some play in it. But we saw it before when it was still installed in the vehicle. We'll just do a quick comparison between these two ball, uh, ball joints. Looks pretty same. Looks pretty much they are the same. Let's look at where the right one. Yes, it is the right one. It's not the left. So I did take the nut off already. Right here. It's a new ball joint. So now we're just going to install the ball joint into here. It should just slide in there. Might be hard with one hand. There, again and again it doesn't just slide in there. Kind of got to wedge it in there. Maybe need some help again with a hammer or a primer or something. Let's see if I can get it in here somehow. So I kind of got it on there so I can put push one bolt through I think so with this bolt right here I put the wash that was in the bag in there already gonna take this thing that came with it too with the new ball joint place it up here kind of and just push the bolt through trying to thread it in there 30 millimeter socket and a ratchet Well, I'm gonna try to put that on there while this is on here. So now we have one lined up. Well, it'll probably be easier to get all the others lined up as well. There you go, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty close. 
get my next bolt ready with the washer that I got right here put it on the bolt and see if I can get it in there oh, not quite you know what I can probably just take a screwdriver and line them up there's just a random screwdriver I'm gonna put it in the hole and just kind of make sure it's all lined up and then we're gonna try our bolt again just goes in there like it's supposed to okay line this nut up on the top put the bolt in get our third bolt put the nut on there and put it in the third hole it should so now for this, I'm going to just use an impact again just to make it fast. I'm going to lock again with an extension. And then I also, the impact gun has a couple of settings. Put it on setting number one. So it's not, doesn't go very tight because these bolts don't have to be very tight. They have to be 15 foot pounds plus 90 degrees. go can't really get on there turn this wheel a little bit and this kind of just popped right in there if you can see there you go it is in there you can see it coming out up there we'll just take her nut it came with a Baldrant, it's a soft locking nut. You can see the plastic ring in there. That'll keep it from unthreading on its own. Sit on there. Start it. Make sure it's not cross threaded. Turn it on there as far as you can with your hand. Just turn this tire again. Take your 90 millimeter wrench right now and start spinning on this nut right here. It'll probably just go forever and ever and ever because the stud just spins in the knuckle because of the plastic that's in the nut it grabs onto the stud and the stud is not tight enough in the in the joint right here the ball joint is not tight in there that it won't spin so the whole bolt or stud just keeps spinning around spinning around just as you turn that nut so you're going to have to find the way to hold this stud. And you can put an Allen key up in here, but you can see that there is not a lot of room in between there. So I'm going to have to do it different. So what I like to do, I just like to take my pry bar, just put it in here, wedge it up, and that will usually hold the stud in there. I can put the nut on there, tighten it up. So once you have it in that far or further, you probably don't have to hold it down with the primer to keep tension anymore because there is enough tension in there now already in that joint. And then you can just, just continue with your wrench without holding it onto anything. So this nut has to be tightened to 33 foot-pounds but I can't get a torque wrench on there because there's no room in between there to get a socket or ratchet in there. So I'm just gonna tighten it very good so it won't come loose. There we go, that should be good. Now we don't want to forget to torque these three bolts here. They go to 15 foot-pounds plus an additional 90 degrees. So there's our torque wrench right here. We'll take our 30 millimeter socket, put on there, and then these are just pretty cool, these torque wrenches. Um, to 15 foot-pounds, you can't really see it there, but there's 18, 16, and then that there is about at 15. Put this lever back on there. 
done. Time these to 15 foot pounds, and you'll hear it click whenever we get there. Okay. 15. 15. So we can't really get to that one. I'll turn the wheel a little bit and then we can. And then an additional 90 degrees on each of them. And then we also don't want to forget to install the sway bar link into here. Use the impact to do that again. So here we'll just take a 30 millimeter socket, put it on our impact gun, put it on the second setting. It can be a little bit tired for this one. This one, the sway bar link is 33 foot pounds. Here we go. We'll put it on the torque wrench again, set to 33 foot pounds. There you go, it clicked. So we got this one tight. This one is at 33 foot pounds, 15 foot pounds, plus an extra uh, 90 degree turn. And this one is at 33 foot pounds as well. Um, I will put all the specs in the description down below. And I will also add some links for some maybe tools and some parts. So that is how we remove the ball joint and replace it without removing the tire on the vehicle on this 2003 Volkswagen Golf. If you liked the video, like it, feel free to comment and thanks for watching.